Well, the topic of safety is obviously paramount. It's uh, top of the news at all times. The tragedy that happened uh, over in West Texas last month only reminds us of the fact that safety really is its a daily concern for the chemical industry. It seems like we learned a lot. It seems like every time uh, with the knowledge that was gained about ammonium nitrate, for example, in 1947, something like the West should not happen today. And yet, these incidents keep on happening uh, at a certain frequency. And so the question is, why do they occur in this frequency, and why do we keep repeating the same mistakes? Well, what we found out was that the answer is not that simple. 95% of the accidents happen because we didn't do the things we knew how to do. And only 5% are pro probably happened because we didn't have the information, we didn't have the knowledge. I have been to numerous incident investigations where I've looked at the scenario and I've said, how did they miss the scenario in the Hazard analysis? In terms of uh, uh, safety statistics or safety goals, where do you want to be? And uh, uh, you've got to choose some goals, okay? And the answer could be, well, uh, maybe five fatalities are acceptable. That we can or acceptable. Even if you accept, even if you accept a, a, a goal of one fatality, or one is, let's say that as a company goal, you say one fatality per year is acceptable. Then my next question would be, who amongst your company or in this room would be that volunteer to satisfy that statistic? And clearly, no one's hand goes up. So if no one is prepared to be that volunteer to satisfy that statistic, then the only goal that makes sense is zero. 